Check out how I just made this brisket sandwich. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our brisket and we're gonna cut it into small little pieces and it's gonna allow for maximum flavor penetration. Now simply take our brisket pieces, drop it in your Instapot. Now we're gonna need a whole white onion. Cut into big chunks and we go. Next, we need a whole head of garlic. Simply cut it right down the middle and just kind of squeeze your garlic chunks in there. I'm not really worried about the shell because we're gonna strain this in the end. Now we need some celery. Celery in. Now we need two carrots. Carrots in. Next, we're gonna use a 16 ounce jar of pepperoncini peppers. Here I have beef tallow. Add in one big scoop of that. Now we're gonna go in with about one cup of beef stock. Last step, we got about half a jar of the spicy Danos. That's the red top. We're gonna go on and add that all in there. Now we're simply gonna use our hand and get this all mixed together. Get everything just kind of mixed in there. Get the seasoning involved. Now we mince the pot on high pressure for two hours. All right, it's been two hours. Now we vent. Let's see what we're working with. Mm -hmm. Now get you a bowl and a strainer. Now we just pour everything through our strainer. All right, let's get a look at this meat right here. I want you to see just how tender that is. Just seriously falling apart. Let's give it a try. That flavor is phenomenal. Now we're gonna pick out the meat and make our sandwich. All right, as you can see, we separated our meat from the vegetables. Now check this out. Look how tender this is. Literally gonna just use our tongs and just get all that meat to just fall apart. That literally went from chunks to not chunks in like 30 seconds. Next step, get your bread. I'll slice it right down the middle. Toss our bread in the oven for a couple minutes. All right, bread's heated up. We start piling on our meat. We got plenty left over. We'll save that for another day. Now, fresh mozzarella, and then a little bit on the top bun. Now you need some of this stuff. I'm not even gonna say the name because I don't want you making fun of me. Pour it in a bowl, and we're gonna scoop it right on top of our top bun. Back into our oven we go. All right, I hope you're as excited as I am. How do we get this on top without spilling it? Quickly. Now we transfer. Now it's time we get a bite. Now we just give it a dip, see if it's any good. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all don't even know. That might be one of the best bites I've ever had in my life. All those peppers on there, that brisket cooked to perfection, that dip yum yum get you some let me know in the comments what you think about this recipe would you try it we'll see you next time mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm.